Hi, I'm Ben from Internachi, and we're going to inspect this roof without leaving the ground. How are we going to do that? With our drone. So I'm going to fly a drone, and I'll show you how I inspect a roof using a drone. Now, you have to be an FAA pilot in order to fly one of these drones, and this one is my DJI Mini 2. Uh, it's very lightweight and small, and it does what I need it to do. It's got a 4K camera so I can do photos, I can zoom in and out, and I can do video as well. So let's take a look at this roof using a drone. According to the Internet G Home Inspection Standards of Practice, the inspector shall inspect the roof covering materials. That's what we're going to do here with our drone. The gutters, we'll do that. Downspouts, vents, flashing, skylights, we have a chimney, and other roof penetrations. And the general structure of the roof, that's usually from inside. And we have two different types of roofs. We have a gable roof, asphalt shingle, and a flat roll roofing material. And the inspector shall describe the type of roof covering materials, asphalt shingle, flat roll roofing. And the inspector shall report as in need of correction any observed indications of active roof leaks. So I'll take a look at that on the inside. The inspector is not required to walk on any roof. So that's why we're using a drone. The inspector is not required to do anything that may, in the inspector's opinion, be unsafe or dangerous or damage property, such as walking on roof surfaces and climbing ladders. So there's the main vent, drain and waste vent, and the flashing around that looks good. And the inspector is not required to predict the service life expectancy, and I think this roof is at the end of its life. Not required to perform a water test, or warrant or certify the roof either. But I can see that this roof is old. It's at the end of its service life expectancy and has observable defects in the roof covering material itself. And there's a chimney there. It's a great way to look at the top of the chimney. We have a fireplace flue and a flue on the right side for a heating system. And the roof itself, the asphalt shingle roof, should be replaced. The flat roll roof is in good shape. The problem is the granules. The granules embedded into the weather surfaces, the top surfaces, exposed surfaces of the shingles, well, they're made of uh, fine grain, opaque, crushed particles. They granules reflect sunlight, which helps keep the roof cool. The granules add weight, which helps the strip uh, bond well and improves wind resistance. They also make the shingles more durable by protecting them from weathering and abrasion. And the granules improve shingle fire resistance. But the loss of granules, well, that increases UV radiation that reaches the asphalt material of the shingles themselves. UV rays can deteriorate asphalt material of the shingles. So we're looking for observed indications of damage and we have damage here due to age. Now functional damage is that which either diminishes the ability of the roof to shed water or shortens its long-term service life. And this is called premature failure. Long-term uniform granule loss isn't uh, considered functional damage by insurance companies. It's considered part of the natural aging process, and that's what we have here. Now, I don't have any problems with the flat roll roofing material. There's some wrinkles there, but they're not getting in the way of roof drainage. I can see the shadowing of the fasteners of the underlayment. There's a bit of a bump and a, a wrinkle, but I can see that the roofing material goes up underneath the bottom of the siding. Where there's puddling, I can see there's some minor surface damage that could be repainted and patched up where it puddles and the gutters look good. So again, the flat roll roofing material, the seams, the material itself, the surface, the drainage, that all looks good. It's the asphalt shingle roof. In addition to normal deterioration and aging, close examination with our drone here shows widespread uniform blistering. And this can be caused by excessive heat from poorly ventilated and overheated roof systems. Blisters may shorten the service life of shingles. And since the problem is widespread, the entire roof may need to be replaced. So these observations 
will be in my report along with my drone video and inspection images. This roof is older and needs to be replaced due to its age, granule loss, and blistering. I'll definitely look inside for signs of a prior or active roof leak using my observations and moisture meter. I'll also recommend further evaluation by a professional roofer. But based upon my inspection of these two different types of roof covering materials in the house, my client now has all the information they need to make smart decisions. Okay, now we have a good idea of the condition of the roof using a drone. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And I'll see you on the next inspection. Thank you.